Yes, hello. Uh, my name is Peter Janura. Um, I am Director General at uh, the Ministry of Environment, and I'm here on behalf of uh, His Excellency Tomasz Taraba, Deputy Prime Minister, who uh, couldn't come, unfortunately. But I'm here um, to, to visit this hospital and to see this, this great project, which is a testimony to the partnership uh, between our two countries, uh, uh, the, the knowledge sharing um, and the eventual center of excellency that we're trying to work on here is very important for us. Uh, um, Slovak aid and Slovakia in general is, is very proud of this project and of the partnership uh, with Kenya. Um, we are happy uh, to see our doctors here, our experts that, that we're sending to Kenya um, and the fact that, that both sides uh, are benefiting from this project of course uh, um, you know we we understand certain challenges uh, that uh, that Kenya is encountering in terms of uh, of the medical uh, sphere and we're doing our best to help to partner with Kenya uh, as as equal partners so that we can share our expect, uh, expertise um, uh, to not only to help the children of course uh, the children are the priority but also to to um, improve a little bit the the system um, and and the medical experience of uh, Kenya and of Ke Kenyan doctors. So um, thank you very much once again for welcoming us here. Um, thank you uh, for uh, uh, your cooperation. We're always happy to be here, and I'm looking forward to to this visit. Thank you. Key reasons as to why you will be uh, having a meeting with the matter, Mr. Kodia Hospital Management, is uh, discussing the possibility of constructing uh, a cardiac center of excellence. How will this benefit both countries, Kenya and Slovakia? Well, of course, uh, this is uh, the eventual goal that we have. Um, I think. Uh, Kenya is already benefiting from the fact that our experts are here uh, to try to guide and help uh, Kenya um, in the organizational and systematic approach uh, to like a holistic um, system that that we have in Slovakia because not only uh, the operation is important but also the post operation um, care and everything that, that that is before and after the operation so so there is a bigger system around it and and that's why we're trying to to implement this center of excellence not only in, in Nairobi but uh, but in the in the whole country and we have some experience that we can that we can share with Kenya and and for us it's also important to to, to partner with Kenya for Slovakia um, b exactly because we have the experience and and to come here and to to to, to share uh, our knowledge is also beneficial for our doctors because they see certain things uh, that uh, that are new for them as well, and they can they can learn uh, from different approaches, uh, mentalities, and cultures that 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 they encounter, um, even even the techniques uh, that the doctors here are. So so it's a beneficial beneficial relationship, um, and I think both countries are very happy that uh, that this project is taking place, and um, we are very happy that. Kenya is able to to benefit and we hope that Kenya will benefit and and um, that's why we're happy. Yeah, this, this long-standing partnership with Mata Misrakodia Hospital, close to 20 years, that is uh, almost two decades. What motivated the government to initiate and sustain uh, this uh, partnership that is quite meaningful in supporting children with cardiac conditions from needy families? Uh, thank you. Uh, well, Kenya was a priority country for Slovakia since uh, a, a very long time, I think uh, more than 20 years. So the, the motivation was always there. We countries, even even uh, during the communist regime, uh, under Czechoslovakia, we were always already partnering. And so uh, when Slovakia gained uh, its independence, we continued in this partnership because we already had uh, certain relationships that were in place. And we decided that because we already know Kenya, we already friendly, that we will continue this partnership and develop this partnership to actually focus on a country because Slovakia, um, although we have we are very ambitious, we are quite small and so we, we can't help the whole world. And so that's why we are trying to focus on certain countries uh, to make our, our help uh, and our more efficient. That's why we decided that we will continue and try to develop this relationship with Kenya. Uh, I have a question. My name is Masi, Simi from National Media Group. 
I wanted to know as a country, are we expecting more manpower from Slovakia? And as well as are we, how much are we looking at the estimate if you are going to help us? Thank you for the question. Um, unfortunately, I can't talk to the numbers. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let uh, Her Excellency talk to this. I can just tell you that we are committed and we will definitely continue with um, numbers that are as high as we can. But maybe uh, uh, Madam Ambassador will have more details about this. I'm just, uh, just, yeah, uh, go, go add in, uh, just, just to add in, um, uh, on the capacity building, it's on both sides, uh, already is going on, which is, has been already going on, uh, the nurses and doctors, um, the nurses actually coming, Kenyan nurses going to Slovakia for exchange, and then of course, uh, Slovak, Slovak staff comes to, 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 uh, to, to Kenya, meaning it, it's already happening, the capacity building. Uh, the doctors always come only for a specific period of time uh, because the, the, the goal of the project is, uh, is uh, a capacity building exchange of the know-how. So they are coming and then leave the know-how and leave because they are the center of excellence um, and the doctors that, you, that the, the Mater Hospital is meeting up um, are of the, one of the best um, professionals in our country. Uh, they are coming in for a week, uh, working non-stop. Um, they cannot actually afford to, to be here longer because they are they are quite high level and uh, and as the, we are trying to build the ex center of excellence here our our hospital the partnering hospital is, is belonging to the center of excellence in slovakia so uh, the center of excellence in slovakia is targeting even patients from uh, countries around and this is actually the goal here so not to only address kenyan kenyan uh, um, kenyan clients but as well to help a very specific diagnosis from the countries uh, from uh, eastern uh, eastern africa uh, you know so sometimes it's it's maybe better to travel to kenya than to other part of the world for the medical care uh, from the region uh, because it does benefit uh, benefit local communities better. Uh, for the future and financially wise, this is um, still what we are working on. Um, uh, currently, we are supporting a mission uh, in a, in a duration of two years, and it's uh, the, the sum is two hundred and fifty thousand euros per per this mission. So, so this is what we are talking about. But of course, uh, we have a different different stages, and potentially we'll then. Uh, the, the mission can recur it again. So this is this is a, a process in uh, in uh, making. Of course, um, uh, uh, we do uh, and are happy with the partner to partner with the Mater Hospital, and Mater Hospital is doing quite a great job on their side as well. So this is uh, what we uh, what what is expected bilaterally. So we step up, and the Mater Hospital have to step up uh, as well. So so it's uh, it's really uh, really a partnership where we do not mind really the knowledge and time. And this is the, 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 the highest we can give, actually, apart from the finances. Like the successes in so far, some insights into the successes of uh, your collaboration with the Mata Misericordia Hospital. But, uh, I mean, uh, well, every, every single operation is a success. And uh, every single one, um, the operations which are taking place during the, this week, when the when the surgeons are in, and together with the Kenyan partners, they have a, they have a possibility to operate on a very very specific uh, diagnosis. Those diagnoses are always life threatening, life saving. So so every single one that they perform, they pick carefully. And um, uh, I am not going to go into details. It's a personal information, but it's always a life saving um, operation see this collaboration in cementing the diplomatic ties between uh, Kenya and uh, Slovakia, particularly in the realm of healthcare? Well, uh, it comes very naturally because we are listening. Uh, what uh, we are listening, what your needs are, and we are responding to those. And I think the action uh, itself just speaks many words. We don't even have to do any activity automatically if there is an outcome which is beneficial from both sides. For me, as an ambassador, and of course the government, we are very happy, but we don't even have to do much effort. It's simply let 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 the action speak the words. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yes. I remember one time during the Mata Heart Run, you mentioned about uh, this collaboration uh, that you have uh, always uh, two uh, uh, 
two missions every year. Uh, just to tell us where did you come from, where are you, and where do you foresee to be in this collaboration between Mata Hospital in Kenya and uh, the Slovakia government through the Slovakia aid? Well, as I excellent said, we started many years ago our collaboration with Slovakia and uh, they have really helped so many children get new lease of life and uh, we are going to see some of the beneficiaries who have been able to get a new life, come back to school and uh, have a normal life. And what is important is that we have a very good relationship with uh, Her Excellency, uh, uh, and, the and, the and, and the government, <laughs> and because of that good relationship, it is able to carry the two missions once in a year. And more than doing the missions, there is a lot of passing skills to our local doctors who have gained a wealth of experience. And when the, the mission doctors go back, our own doctors are able to perform the operations and uh, help the children to gain. Uh, back their life and uh, in the future once these children are helped obviously they will be our future leaders that's where we are led, headed to Uh, in case uh, the collaboration and of course the, uh, the meeting, the need or the possibility of establishing uh, the cardiac center of excellence at Mata Hospital, what does this, what will for uh, Mata Hospital, all these children who are needy and uh, they need, uh, they're suffering from cardiac conditions and the healthcare sector in general in Kenya. Okay, it means that they will be able to help more children because as it is, there are so many children from very poor background who cannot afford healthcare. Even they cannot afford the, the new uh, NHIF fund because they are so poor and from the slums. And it is not only going to help the children who come to Mata, it's going to help the children in East, Central, and South Africa. They will be able to help. And therefore, by helping the children of Kenya, we are helping the children of Africa and helping our African nation. So the, the, the initiative stretches out to East and uh, Central Africa? Beneficiaries. Beneficiaries, as it is, we don't actually confine our children only to Kenya. They come out from Western African, and where they come out, they are also operated by, as part of the mission as it is. And in the future, we foresee it expanding more and reaching out to African regions. Yes.
So Mata Hospital has been iconic for decades for its, uh, its uh, Mata Heart Run and of course under Mata Heart Fund and uh, how we've heard exactly from uh, the representative of the Slovakia government through the Slovakia aid uh, of their partnership, the long-standing partnership that uh, is soon, if at all the closed door meeting proves uh, uh, fruitful, and then uh, a center or uh, the, the way towards uh, constructing uh, a revolutionary center uh, cardiac center of excellence at Mata Misericordia Hospital will be quite uh, important uh, to the health uh, sector and of course the initiative that uh, Mata prides of uh, supporting needy people from different uh, uh, places from different countries, uh, not just within Kenya, but even from uh, the central and the eastern part, without even discriminating, of course, the geographical uh, barriers. So, and uh, as we have heard, of, of course, they are foreseeing from uh, the CEO, Sister Maria Ngui, also hoping that uh, uh, the, the, this co collaboration continues to be able to bring on board uh, so many other people to benefit from this. Uh, of, uh, partnership and the government of Slovakia just to brief you uh, is that it has been in collaboration with the Mata Hospital for close to two decades right now and every year as uh, Sister Maria has said there's always two missions in every year where cardiac surgeons come to perform uh, uh, complex heart procedures on children through uh, the Mata Heart Fund and uh, there is a win-win situ situation whereby experts medical experts in Kenya and those from Slovakia uh, gain uh, expertise and experience from each other and it is quite a, a to be emulated and encouraging collaboration that surely needs to be fortified and cemented through the construction of this uh, uh, cardiac uh, center of excellence if all goes well. This is a Sasha Elizabeth from Mata Misericordia Hospital in South B, Nairobi. We later on we will be joining to see some of the cases that have been successfully uh, operated on through this uh, Mata Heart Fund uh, collaboration with the Slovakia Aid under the Slovakia government.